Hey guys, welcome to this quick tutorial on how to use Cloud Code and combine it with Context Engineering as well as the new slash commands feature that they just released. If you're not already familiar, Context Engineering is around how you provide sufficient context to your AI such that it's able to execute on its task correctly. The other thing that you'll start to see is this new slash command feature. Slash commands just allows you to have custom commands to replace your everyday tasks. But the great thing about this new feature is that now you can actually put an exclamation mark and run terminal commands before it. The best way to demonstrate these concepts is by just showing you how they work in practice. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, what I have here is just a regular Git repository, and this contains the full source code of a crash course, which I released recently on how to use Google's Agent Development Kit and Agent to Agent Protocol to build multi-agent systems. Now, often when you're working with a Git repository, you have a bunch of changes that you need to commit and push to your remote somewhere. The problem here is that you need to write a commit message that summarizes these changes. You can rely on IDEs to actually generate commit messages for you. They're pretty good, but they tend to have two problems. Number one, sometimes they don't actually get the correct context based on what's provided. And secondly, if you are like me and you actually have defined how you like your Git commit messages to be so that they, for example, are tagged with the type of commit this is involved with and have correct limits, oftentimes you'll see that this skips it altogether. And this can result in some really irritating effects such as this, where you actually have a commit message and it's kind of truncated the first line and it should have been able to fit it into just one line. And apart from that, you want to have more descriptive messages anyway. So let me show you how to automate all of this, providing the context as well as performing the Git messages using Cloud Code. So I'm going to start Cloud Code in the CLI. And what I'm going to be doing is just do this. I've introduced a new command called git commit. So first of all, it will be able to read what's in my git best practices cursor rules. And yes, Cloud Code can interface very nicely with cursor rules. So you don't have to actually just choose between either one. You can use both and get the best of both worlds. Now you can see it's created a git commit and it has actually summarized all of the things that this commit actually involved. And it's followed the style guidelines that I've indicated and it's picked a short enough title that will show up nicely in GitHub. So I'm going to say yes. And then it's actually going to perform the actual commit. And you can verify this by going in here and you can see it's done a perfectly formatted and beautiful commit message for you. All right, so how did I do this? Well, it's really very simple. All I needed to do was to first define a Git best practice cursor rule, and you can easily find many of these rules off the internet, or you can actually just go into cursor itself, type slash and generate cursor rules and just say Git best practices for my repository, and it will actually generate something like this for you. To be able to create a custom command is you want to do a folder, call it dot plot, and within it, create a commands folder. I'm just going to call the command git commit.md. And this name that you have here will match the name that you will be able to pick up over here. And within this, you're going to specify the allowed tools that is allowed to run in the terminal. So it's just git add, git status, and git commit. And then uh, just a quick description that will match what you see in your terminal when Cloud Code runs. The new feature that has been added by Cloud Code is something called bash command execution, which allows you to run terminal commands using the exclamation mark prefix. You provide the context, you want to perform a git status first, do a diff, then check to make sure that you're on the current branch, check the previous 10 commits, and then you want to use that to create a single git commit based on the best practices that you've laid out. And that's all you needed to do to be able to create beautiful git commits that look like this, they're informative, they're succinct, and they're formatted nicely. And this just makes your development a whole lot easier. So I hope that this tutorial has been useful to show you a little bit of what it means by context engineering, providing sufficient context to any commands that you give to your LLM and how you make use of the new bash command execution for custom commands. This repository here is part of my recently released full one and a half hour crash course on how to build multi-agent systems using Google's latest AI tech stack, which is the Agent Development Kit and combining it with their latest protocol called Agent to Agent. If you want to stay on top of the bleeding edge of AI development, you will definitely want to check out the full crash course in this video over here. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. Till next time, see ya.